Okay, let's continue to work on our dude. What I'm going to do is go to variables, make a variable, and do x velocity, and do for all sprites, and click OK. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set x velocity to 0, the same way I set y velocity to 0 at the start of the game. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on our block, edit it, and I'm going to add a text label, side movement speed, and then an input side movement, a label friction, and then an input friction. And then I'm going to do side movement speed to three and friction to 0.7. Now, something we need to grasp is that true or false statements are represented by one and zero. For example, if I were to do key space press times five, if I'm not pressing the space button, it gives me zero. But if I am pressing the space button, it gives me five. Basically, if I were to click this, it's false, true. False basically equals zero, true equals one. So what we can do is we can actually get our side movement and do key right arrow times side movement. And then we are going to add, and we're going to duplicate key left arrow times side movement and we want it instead of being four to the right we're going to do four to the left so we have to make it its negative counterpart by multiplying by negative one so what we can actually do is set x velocity to x velocity plus all of this so now if we were to show x velocity it changes for positive or to the negative so what we can do is actually change x by x velocity so now we have a code where our guy can move but what happens is he's sort of sliding on ice x velocity doesn't shrink so what we have to do is actually times it by a number in between one and zero one representing super slippery which means its velocity doesn't slow down at all and zero representing pure friction right here we have 0.7 so i'm going to drag in 0.7 for the friction we are going to times this whole thing against this. So now what you will see is we move and it slowly shrinks. So he loses energy over time. And now you can kind of see how our platforming game is going to work. Using this concept of true or false as one and zero, we can actually clean up this code a little bit. What we can do is pull this out and we can times it by jump height. And then we can set y velocity to this. So basically, if this is true, set y velocity to jump height. If it is not true, set y velocity to zero, which is what we were doing. Now we can just put this in here. And now, as you can see, we have a really good looking code that is simple and precise and lets our character jump around however he may. Our game's starting to come together. Nice.